Hey guys, Juice here, and today isn't really a funny video and all that. I'm not gonna be adding my intro, but maybe, you know, just maybe my outro. I don't know, but um, <clears throat> today I'm making a video, a tutorial, and I don't have my face cam because. This video isn't really about me, it's about you guys, and also my friends who are YouTubers and want to know how I edit, and they want to edit like I do and stuff, so yeah. So, I use KindMaster, um, so yeah, so if you click this red circle in the middle, this will pop up. So yeah, this is the main screen you'll see when you open up Kind Master. You click this red button and you press empty project. Alright, so you'll see this now. So, so you see this, then you're doing good. So if you see this media, you click this and then you will have pictures and videos and all that. This is for a background video. So let's say I'm gonna make an intro. So this is what I have so far. So yeah. So if I wanna make this better, I wanna add music. Go to audio right here, and then boom, you have music. Go up here, music assets, or do your own songs and all that go here but if you want to use the music that's already on that you can get on kind master then you'll go here and if you don't have any songs downloaded from kind master you go up here um this over the horizon song this is a Samsung tablet a Samsung tablet so it came with this tablet so yeah click here which one do I want to pick so let's check out comic book press the play button all right so if I want that one I'll press the plus so here we go so I got that so far but I want to make it longer so click on the picture and now drag this yellow bar thing to the right and here we go so I got that if I want to make the music louder I'll click on this and then I'll go right here to the sound thingy and then drag this up and down you want it more to the right now it's more to the right, not very centered anymore, but I always keep it like this. This is the pitch, so let's lower the pitch all the way. And now let's put the pitch all the way up. Alright, so let's put it back to normal. Alright. What I do to make stuff really loud, to intensify it, I turn it all the way up and turn on the compressor. I'm not exactly sure what compressor does, but I think it helps me. So, if I want to put in a picture for my intro that I'm making right now, you click layer. Click image, and you pick a picture. So go to photo and I'll pick this for, for my Lego channel and yeah I could size it I could move it around I can tilt it so yeah and cropping you can click mask and then you can choose a shape oh let's go with a circle all right so we can move this around and stuff we can trim it. Hold on. So 
So yeah, I got trimmed and everything. I put it up here in the corner. And you want some dialogue, some text. Click layer again, and then go to text. And here we go. So, hmm, let me think. Kaboom. So it's right here, we can make it bigger, tilt it, kaboom, there we go. You want to change the color, you go up here, and then there's a whole bunch of colors. These are colors I've been mostly using, so yeah, let's choose blue. And then, in animation, look, if you choose in animation, so let's have it fade into the video. Down here, you can change how long it takes it for it to fade. So let's do this that fast. Overall animation is what it does during while it's in. So let's do blink slow or even flicker. I mostly use floating, drifting, squishing, and rarely anything else so let's choose squishy out animation anyways this is what it shows when it goes out so let's do wipe up so that's what it does wanna make it longer here we go so let's see what we got so far so that's what I got so far so that's just doing, just putting in a picture, adding text and stuff. Oh, I also forgot. So the alpha or opacity, how much it shows. So now it barely shows. If I put it all the way up, you can see it completely fine. Rotate slash mirroring, you can pretty much just Rotate it and mirror it. So, yeah. And then this changes, I guess, something. Shadow. Well, I've mostly been using, I would cha either change the shadow color or I would turn off shadow. So, let's keep on shadow. Glow. You can change the glow color clicking this light blue hmm okay outline and just out outlines color background color you can change the background color maybe to pink if you want it to be we don't wait no that's not pink maybe pink yeah the full width makes it go all the way across the screen so yeah and then up here where it has the two letter A. Here are the fonts. So there's Latin and then for me I got Android. It just I think I think these are like just Android fonts. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. So let's choose Bevin or Bevin, whatever. And we'll change the font to this. Alright, so this trimming the scissors trims that long. So if you look on the bottom here, I can see where it does and all that. And then, so let's choose. I want to get rid of the rest of the right, the right side and on. I want to get rid of that. So you click trim to right of playhead. Kaboom. There you go. Uh, how about I want to get rid of this so trim to left of the playhead There we go. It's a little bit shorter now. Split at playhead. I'll show that a little bit later when we're into the video stuff So yeah And then if you click this keyboard up here, you could just You type it and all that so yeah Hmm this down here shows 
the, the just a different way how to show this stuff. I I stick with this. So yeah. There's that. Plus check mark and you're good. And when you're good with it, when you want it, I'll show it at the end. When you're good with the rest of all that stuff, when you're good with what you have, I'll show you at the end of the video. So, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I have this back. It's all blank and everything. So let's go up to media. Let's choose a video. I pre-made this video just for this tutorial. So you click on the video, and then here it is. Press the check mark. You can either go down here and go all the way to the beginning, or you could just slide to the left. Yeah. So let's watch it. Alright, so, alright, so let's, alright, let's see, hmm, let me think, what am I gonna do, let's add some music, so, go up here, music assets, let's choose retro. So, let's intensify the <clears throat> sound. So let's click here. Go to the scissors. Click split at playhead. Go a little bit till it shows up again. And then click that again. Click on the smaller portion of the video. If you want to zoom in, you go up here to this little box thing. Click on that. And the top box will show what it sh what it'll zoom in or zoom out of at the beginning of this small video part of the video and the bottom box will show what it what is zoomed in to at the end of the video of this mini part <clears throat> of this section of the video and if you click this equal sign it'll show It'll do the same exact thing for both. Whatever's on the top is also on the bottom if you click the equal sign. So, let's see how this is. So, let's go here. So, I say I'm going to intensify it. So, click here. Turn all the way up. I do this. To make it more crazier. I go to color filter and there are many colors so there's black and white there's a little bit brighter there's this there's a lot I use this one to make it crazier there's also a negative effect so let's choose this one <clears throat> all right so you now know how to zoom in, add music, do fonts on a text, type in a text, and all that stuff. And put in a picture and video. So yeah. Um sometimes if you want to draw something, go to layer, handwriting, and they'll be here. So if you draw stuff. You can do arrows, you can do lines, yeah. And then if you mess up on something, there's always a back arrow. And if you accidentally get rid of it, if you accidentally delete it, then press this redo arrow. But if you don't want it, you can always click on it 
either down here or up here and then you can click this trash can over here on the side so let's do that hmm what else am I gonna do all right so if you wanna stop where it is like this you go to the scissors split and insert freeze frame click that and then I'll turn this into a freeze frame which is it freezes the picture and turns it freezes that frame and puts it into a picture so what I do I click onto it go to the cropping and then I always zoom in on my face all right so now let's see how it is but sometimes if I want to add an exclaimer disclaimer with my voice you click right here voice click start if, when you're ready sometimes I wait all right you click stop when you're done and I guess it was too short. Come on, wait, it's glitching. There we go. Start. Hand a man to boo to boo to boo. I don't know why, but it's saying it's too short. It never is too short. So, let's just forget about that. If you want to add a picture at a certain part, like right here. Click here, split it playhead, kaboom, you go right here, media, how about the Lego photo again. See? Alright, watch. Alright, so yeah. If you want to I don't know maybe add a video or a picture of yourself at a certain part you could a certain part you could do this and all that and if you want to take a picture or a video right now you can always click this red spot say camera or camcorder so I'll do camcorder all right so you should see this. Hmm. I'm gonna exit out of that because because making video while making a video might cancel out my recorder. So yeah. And then there's also camera where you can take a picture. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I do in my videos and stuff. And my brother just came in. Dude, I'm not done yet. And he's mad at me now. So yeah. Sometimes it'll fade at the end. So let's watch it. Hold on, I'll tell you about fading at the end in a second. Say I wanted to cut out this part where I'm thinking of what to do so start right here split it playhead split it playhead and then delete and delete and now it's gone If you want to know how to transition transition from one thing to another you click on that white part where it's between the videos and then here you go so let's choose 3d transitions how about 3d flip all right so yeah you got this So, see how it fades, the sound fades at the end? Go to this gear over here on the left, click that, and then 
audio fade out. If you don't want it, click that and it's gone now. It won't fade anymore at the end. Alright. What I do sometimes when I do a dramatic moment, I click on the video, I go to speed control and slow it down. So here we go. Sometimes, if most likely if it's a dramatic moment, I will go through color filter, black and white. And then I will also slowly zoom in to my face make it more dramatic sometimes so yeah Are you done? no I am not done yet all right so um yeah if I want to change the audio well, what are you there. Doing? I'm not playing anything. I'm doing tutorial. Alright, so if I wanna do a certain type of voice, I could do chipmunk. Makes up higher pitch. Alright. My people. Now go. Alright, I could do D. Or I could even do modulation. I don't know why these are not. I don't know why these are not working. But hey, you guys know. Um, color adjustment. The one on the left to make it brighter. One in the middle. So do like more of a. I don't really know actually. Maybe focus on the light more? I'm not exactly sure. The one on the right does heat and cold kind of thing, like all the way up. Like heat makes it redder or more of a yellowish. The one on go down goes like more of a grayish or bluish. So yeah. And then sometimes clip graphics. So yeah. Basic. I'm choosing basic. So let's do slide clock cross. So let's type something. Hello. Every but so first line. Do that. Do why that is, and do that. Why is this color? And yeah. Alright, if you want to make that clip graphic shorter, just gotta drag the thing. You are like talking to people. Yeah, I am. I'm making a video. So, yeah. I want to be like. I don't know what he's talking about and stuff. There's also a vignette. Now, I think it just went black because I'm using black and white right there. So, let's choose on this. And this is what Vignette does. Does like a dark ring around the picture or video. And then if you want to add something at the beginning, just go to media and do that. And if you want to drag something somewhere, you can, if you want to put something somewhere, you can drag it and drop it to wherever, like right here. Or if you want to add something at the end, same with the beginning, just boom, boom, there you go. And yeah. <clears throat> hmm. What else? There's also effects and overlay. Let me show you what the effects are that I have. You can get bullets and stuff. I had done it before. So, let's do a gosh and blur. Uh, whenever I use this, I turn up all the way so it's very blurry. And then you can do this. 
blur out my face. And you can even change the size of it, like a circle, for for maybe if you want want to blur out a face, then a circle would most likely work. Or if you want to use a different blur, such as mosaic, whatever it is, it's more of a pixelated blur. So turn it up. Boom. There you go. So we don't know. Let's crop it into a circle. And yeah, and my brother is really mad at me because yeah. we play a video. Let me do a video. Just wait until I'm done. We will take a lot time. And he's getting really mad at me because he's mean. Anyway, now. There's also overlay where you can Let add. Let me make a video. Where you can add stickers and stuff. Ew. Such as such as a mustache. Oh. Uh, and he's freaking out. Oh, that hurts. See, look at there's a mustache on my face. Oh yeah, that's okay. What the dog is going on here? So yeah, that's pretty much what I do, guys. Anyway. And um, um. And yeah, hope you guys learned some new stuff on how to edit and stuff. And yeah, my friend Darklord8237 asked me how do I edit so good, or like how to te- how or teach how to edit good. And yeah, oh yeah, I even forgot. Click on it and you press the share button to export it so you could do like going all the way up will take more space going all the way down take less space but it won't be the best graphics so yeah um and i said i told my friend i'll give him a shout out his name is deadpool 7789 i'll put a link in his i'll put a link in the description below and um, if you guys learned something or like this video, then why don't you go ahead and drop a like. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. I want to be the first of the first few. Or know that a video was uploaded. Then hit the notification bell. And yeah. And if you want to chat, if you want to talk to me in a group or a server, you could call it. Well, it is a server, but you could call it group chat. I'll put my Discord in the link below in the description. Yeah, I'll put my link in the description below. And comment what you thought of my tutorial. Probably sucked, but hey, I tried. And, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And, good.